All right, so to solve by elimination, we need to make sure each equation is written in. What's your prediction? Standard, Standard form. <laughs> Step two. <laughs> Step two is an if necessary, and sometimes you don't need to do this step. If necessary, multiply one or both equations by a number that results in either the x or y value being opposites of each other. In our video, we saw that their first step was to make both coefficients for y 24, and then they made one of them negative, right? So you can subtract and eliminate. Step three, add or subtract the equations to solve for either x or y. Whichever one you didn't eliminate, you solve for first. And then we go back to, what's the first word in step four? Substitute. This is why I teach substitution first. Using elimination, once you've got an x or y, you go substitute it back in. So you're going to substitute your answer into one of the original equations and solve for the other variable. If you found x, you're going to solve for y. y. If you found y, you're going to solve for x. Step five, substitute your answers into both of the original equations to check your answer. So let's do this solving of this system here. Be prepared to write small. Okay, so when I look at 3x minus 4y equals negative 5, oops, sorry, thank you for letting me know it wasn't on the screen, um, and negative 10x plus 4y equals 12, I see negative 4y, positive 4y. That's the beautiful part of this. If it's already done for you, you don't have to do the step where you're multiplying anything. I can just eliminate those two. So, they're in standard form. I see that I already have terms I can eliminate. So I'm on to step three. Add or subtract the equations to solve for either the x or the y. So we're going to take these two equations and we're going to combine like terms from the equations themselves. So 3x minus 10x gives us negative 7x. Negative 4y plus 4y eliminated, that's a 0, equals negative 5, positive 12, and then divide by negative 7, yep, x equals negative 1. Now we're going to go back to one of the other or one of the original equations and we're going to plug in negative 1 for x and we're going to solve for y. Okay? I look at those equations and I think which one will be easier to work with. I think the first one. <laughs> what did you say, Dennis? Okay, we'll do the second one cuz you got a 10. Okay, if you like the first one, do the first one. If you like the second one, do the second one. You've got to get the same answer. Three times negative one minus four y equals negative five. Oh, I made that a three. I mean, a four. Yeah. Did you use a different equation for me? Yes. And I told you we'd get the same answer. So our xy pair is negative one, comma, one half. We're going to practice these steps on some other equations. Put your name on this paper first. If you notice the first few problems, you don't have to add or multiply or change anything. What can be eliminated in problem one? Uh, four. 
the X terms can be eliminated, right? Oh, yeah. Same with number two. What about number three? Uh, the Y? The Y can be eliminated. What about four? Uh, the six. I meant the X. The X term. What about five? Y. Both. Almost the Y, but they're both negative 9Y. We need to make one of them a positive 9Y. I'm going to multiply this first equation by negative 1. If I multiply this first equation by negative 1, I'm going to get 2x plus 9y equals positive 25. If I multiply that whole thing, all of their terms, signs change, right? The second one, I'm going to leave it the same. But I'm going to move it over here so that they're lined up. And we are going to combine these. 2x and negative 4x leaves us with negative 2x. 9y minus 9y zeroes out and is eliminated. And 23, 5 minus 23 is 2. two. And we have another negative 1, don't we? And our next step is going to be to go back, plug in that negative 1 to either of the first equations. I don't like working with negatives, but this one's all negatives. I get positive 4 minus 9y equals negative 23. Uh -huh. If we're going to go back and plug stuff in and use the first equation, do you keep it how it was negative? Yeah, I, you could actually do either one of them. They're equivalent, right? But really, you should always go back to the original just so you don't have mistakes. Nine y equals negative twenty seven. What's my y equal to? Negative three. So the answer to this one is negative one, comma, negative three.